Hey, what is up beautiful people? If you're new to my channel, my name is Melly. I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe. I also have my social media down below if you guys wanna follow me there. I do a lot of wearable looks on my Instagram especially. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into this month's BoxyCharm. This box is sent for review purpose. I also have an affiliate link. You guys know I love to keep it upfront and real with you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and jump in as always. The box has a little card and it says Fresh Start, which is the theme for this month's box. As always, I will have timestamps down below because this is an unboxing and try on as well. This time around, I have to say that I don't have a number variation. It just has a very long number right here. So I'm not sure what that means. Usually it has just a single number on there, but we're going to go ahead and jump in. The first thing in here is the Violet Boss All of You Forever Eyeshadow Palette. I love the play on words. This is $34. I really enjoy Violet Boss. This is what the Unicarton looks like. All of You Forever. Love the little cute play on words. And the palette is very simple and has the same kind of style on the front. It does have a mirror, as you can see there, a nice small mirror that you can actually hold up. It doesn't stay up by itself, so you do have to give it a little bit of support but the shades in here are really nice you can get a neutral look there are some corally warm tones and beautiful greens I actually thought that there was gonna be more greens when I saw the outside of the packaging but it is a good variation and you go you do have a one two three greens but being called all of you forever I kind of expected a little bit more of green in this palette but it's still an absolutely gorgeous palette. I did do the look in the try-on portion that I have on my eyes using this palette and it performed really nicely. The shimmers, I did have to wet them a little bit afterwards just because I really wanted them to pop and by themselves they just did not do that. Next thing in here is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% pH Pore Cleansing Toner. <laughs> toner and this I am excited to use I absolutely love pharmacies skincare their skincare is absolutely amazing and I am going to definitely incorporate this so this has moringa and a papaya and is four fluid ounces for $28 and let's see what this looks like oh okay and it is it's, it's a glass bottle, so you do want to be careful where you store it, and it does come nice and sealed, which I will probably open later on, just because right now I have two different toners that I am using up, but very, very nice, and super excited that it came in this box. The next product in here is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade MG5. If you're worried about foundation shades, you were able to pick when you picked your choice what shade you were going to get. And the PR person actually reached out to me and showed me which shades I could choose from. And this shade seemed the one that was most towards my skin tone and actually did match perfectly. It's actually what I have on because I tried it in the try-on portion. I will try to do a full review on this later on because I am curious as far as the longevity, how long it's going to wear. This is $35. It says it's a multi-purpose all-in-one. It has sunscreen. It has an SPF of 20. It's a moisturizer and a primer and a foundation all in one. And Pure Cosmetics is really good with especially their skincare stuff. And a lot of their makeup has really started to Mm, it's been so, so good lately, the stuff that I have bought or even tried from them. Next thing in here is the Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. This is $25. Oh, where is it? And this is what it looks like. Right now I have two lip masks that I'm currently using, so I am not going to open this and just put this in a giveaway for you guys. I'm accumulating quite a few products to do a giveaway. I'll probably just announce it in one of my next videos and also uh, post it on my Instagram if you're interested. And the last thing in here is the Trust Fund Beauty Lipgasm Lip Lip gloss. This is an unprofessional. It's a sheer hot peach color in, um, it's just a sheer peach color and it says you mean business and it's $18. And I really wanted to try this in the try on portion, but it does not go with the makeup look that I have on. I have more of a cool tone green look. And this, when I show you guys, is, <laughs> is a super, super bright peach shade. 
and I decided to just kind of put it away for another time or maybe to put it in a giveaway. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it is very beautiful. Hopefully if I get a, a different palette in my not PR box when I do that video that I will do more of a try on for you guys but at least I did especially the foundation and the shadow for you guys and if you're interested in watching the try on portion that is next. We're going to start with the Violet Boss palette and the first shade I'm going to dip into is Wishful which is just a good transition shade and I'm just going to put this all over my crease. If you guys have seen my Instagram or even just followed me here on my channel, you guys know that I like to do a lot of wearable looks. I don't do anything extremely crazy or double cut creases or anything like that. I really want to do looks that people could really use and you would be okay with going out wearing for the most part. If you like that kind of look, I would definitely follow my Instagram. I try to do little reels for you guys, especially when I'm getting ready for work. That's why you guys will see me in my purple scrubs sometimes because I film right when I get ready in the morning, early in the morning. Then to eat, deepen up the crease a little bit, I'm going to go in with Charmed. The first shade I'm going to lay on probably like the outer half of the lid is going to be this Olive Glow, which is this gorgeous green, which goes perfect with my shirt today. For the other half of the lid, I think I'm going to go in with Juicy, which is this gorgeous gold. I'm going to go in with Wink just to clean up those edges a little bit and add that shade along the outer edge. And then for the under eye, what I'm going to do is use probably Infatuated and then Major Spotlight here on the inner corner, but I will do that after I finish my whole face. Next, we're going to test out the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. I got the shade MG5. We will see how good this matches me. Hopefully, it matches. <laughs> okay, okay. It looks like it's matching pretty good. Wow. Yes. I, I don't remember asking for the pure four in one as my choice. I can't remember. So when mine comes in and I do the not PR, then you guys will see what's in there. I do remember choosing the Fenty powder that I do remember choosing. So this is just one light layer and I feel like it looks very beautiful, very natural looking on the skin. It matches perfectly with my skin tone, which I'm excited, which means I will be keeping this and testing it out. Let me know if you guys want a full review on this. I really want to get back to doing reviews on products not exactly buying new products, but if I get any kind of product that I've never reviewed on my channel here from the boxies, I really want to review them for you guys. So I think I might review this later on and let you guys know how I feel with the coverage, how long it lasts, things like that. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and we will come back and play around with the rest of the eyeshadow and lip. For underneath the lash line, I am going to go ahead and use Infatuated and just use that all over the under eye area. Thought I had lost it, but she has come back. I can't live without this brush. This is the MAC 228. This is the most amazing brush for your inner corner. And we're going to use this one called Major Spotlight and see if it's a major spotlight and just really open up that eye and pop it in there. Mm. Yes. And what I'm gonna do is just put some mascara, lashes, and we'll be back with the lip. 
For my final thoughts, I have to say this box is absolutely amazing. The top three products for me are the foundation. This knocked my socks off. I definitely will be testing this out and see how the longevity of this is and maybe do a separate review for you guys if you are interested. And the pharmacy, I love pharmacy skincare, so this was amazing to get. Violet Boss, I actually really enjoy their formula as well. Really nice palette. The two lip products are just okay things in the box but the other three really knocked my socks off so overall i feel like it's a great box as always i will put the total value of the box around here so you guys know how much it is boxycharm is 25 dollars a month if you use my link i do get compensation down below i'm thankful and grateful for anyone who does use it and yeah i want to hear your opinions what do you guys think what are you looking forward to what was your choice for this month if you want to see later on in the month i do also have the boxes that are not pr so you can kind of compare what i get in my own box that i choose compared to pr boxes as well and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing if you're not subscribed hit that red button follow me on my social media and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys